there's a good reason why France is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. With its stunning architecture, beautiful countryside, and delicious food, it has something for everyone. While Paris may be the most famous city in France, there are many other amazing places to visit as well. Take a look at top 10 places to visit in France, Biarritz and Saint-Jean-de-Luz. A blend of Parisian-style elegance and the untamed natural beauty of the Atlantic coast, Biarritz is an upscale seaside resort with fabulous beaches. Biarritz was favored by Empress Eugenie, who loved this area of the Basque region. She chose a sandy hillside overlooking the Bay of Biscay as the location for her imperial residence, the Villa Eugenie. This Second Empire Palace has been converted into luxury accommodations. The five-star Hotel du Palais, which offers exquisitely decorated guest rooms and an oceanfront gastronomic restaurant. Next to the hotel property is the Grande Plage, a sandy beach that has attracted sunbathers since the Belle Epoque. Another of the top beaches in Biarritz is the Plage du Miramar. A picturesque scene of colorful striped cabanas and parasols during summertime, this sheltered beach has the delightful ambiance of an old-fashioned seaside resort. Just a half-hour drive, 15 kilometers, from Biarritz is the historic fishing port of Saint-Jean-de-Luz, a popular summertime destination with family-friendly beaches. Chartres Cathedral, a gem of medieval architecture. If you only have time to visit one cathedral in France, then head to Chartres. Crowning the historic town, the Cathedral Notre-Dame de Chartres is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This magnificent Gothic monument dates to the 12th and 13th centuries and is remarkably well-preserved. Visitors are awed by the soaring spires, elaborately decorated facade, and marvelous array of stained glass windows that give the sanctuary an ethereal quality. Most of the windows were created between 1210 and 1260, which is extremely rare. During summertime, the cathedral hosts the Chartres International Organ Festival with performances of sacred music on Sunday afternoons. Before proceeding further, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so you would get notified when we upload the next video. Versailles A short train ride from Paris is the UNESCO-listed Chateau de Versailles, built for Louis XIV, the Sun King. This opulent 17th-century palace is a testament to the glory and absolute power of the French monarch. The chateau's splendid Baroque facade, dazzling hall of mirrors, and fountain-adorned formal gardens allow visitors to imagine a scene of France's bygone royal court. Versailles immerses visitors into the extravagance of France's ancien regime, the glittering world where Marie Antoinette hosted lavish balls and garden parties. Tourists may wander around Le Hameau de la Reine, the make-believe country village created by the last queen as a way to escape the formality of court life. The hamlet includes a lake, orchard, dovecote, and originally had a working dairy, Mont Saint-Michel, in Normandy. Mont Saint-Michel is a highlight of the Normandy region, a pastoral landscape of apple orchards, woodlands, and cow pastures. This unmissable tourist attraction ranks number one on the long list of Normandy travel destinations, which includes stellar sites such as historic castles and picture-perfect towns. Built between the 11th and 13th centuries, the Abbey of Mont-Saint-Michel is one of the most awe-inspiring sites in France. The UNESCO-listed abbey is perched on the hilltop of an islet in the Bay of Mont-Saint-Michel and is considered a marvel of Gothic architecture. The Abbey Church was an important medieval pilgrimage site on the Way of St. James route to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. Modern-day pilgrims still make the journey here, crossing the Bay of San Michel by foot at low tide. Visiting Mont Saint Michel is a spirit-lifting experience. Tourists may attend religious services, concerts, and cultural events at this sublime historic abbey, the Chateau of the Loire Valley. Like the scene of a fairy tale, Magnificent castles are scattered throughout the densely forested landscape of the Loire Valley, stretching for 280 kilometers from Sully-sur-Loire to Chalonne-sur-Loire in Anjou. The Loire Valley is the largest UNESCO-listed site in France. The region boasts an incredibly rich cultural heritage. During the 15th and 16th centuries, France's kings built sumptuous country retreats here purely for entertainment and enjoyment. Extravagant chateaux, such as the grandiose Chateau de Chambord and the emblematic Chateau de Chenonceau, offer insight into the opulence of the Renaissance-era French court. 
French nobles and elites also built stately manor houses, such as the majestic Chateau of Cheverny and the Chateau d'Azé le Rideau, in an idyllic setting with a water-filled moat. Strasbourg's Historic Center Quaint and cultured, Strasbourg enchants visitors with its old-world charm. The entire historic center of Strasbourg, the Grande Ile, is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. When stepping foot into this mostly pedestrian area, one enters the world of centuries past. Medieval cobblestone lanes and narrow alleyways invite travelers to discover a delightful maze of pastel-painted half-timbered houses, ancient churches, and public squares filled with outdoor cafe tables. At the heart of Strasbourg, the cathedral amazes all who admire its breathtakingly ornate façade. The cathedral is within easy walking distance of many top tourist attractions like the Maison des Tanneurs, a fine dining restaurant in a classified historic monument. The 15th century Maison Camazelle, considered a gem of Alsatian Renaissance architecture, and the Église de Saint-Thomas, a 12th-century church that played an important role during the Protestant Reformation. Seaside towns and resorts in Brittany A picturesque coastal region, Brittany has a rich maritime heritage seen in its historic port towns. Saint-Malo, surrounded by old ramparts, the medieval capital of Nantes, and the fortified 14th-century Concarneau. The seaside also boasts stylish beach resorts like fashionable Dinar on the Côte d'Emeraude, the summertime vacation destination of La Baule on the estuary of the Loire River, and Treboul near the lovely riverside town of Quimper. The scenery is dramatic and unspoiled, with secluded sandy beaches and a rocky coastline where wild Atlantic waves crash against the shore. Centuries-old fishing villages are sheltered in quiet bays and on tiny windswept offshore islands. Breton culture can be traced back to the Celts. The local dialect is related to Gaelic. Similar to Ireland, it is a land of mythology and legends. Today, Brittany is strongly Catholic. Locals celebrate ancient religious customs called pardons, special festivals when townspeople wear old-fashioned regional costumes. The local cuisine features delicious specialties, such as fresh seafood and savory buckwheat crepes. Brittany also has a famous regional pastry, the Cuinaman. A buttery pastry made with croissant dough that is layered with sprinkles of sugar has a moist, cake-like center and a crispy, caramelized exterior. Countryside of Provence In contrast to the gray skies of Paris and northern France, the charming region of Provence basks in bright Mediterranean sunshine most of the year. This rural area feels untouched by the modern world and has a rugged, earthy appeal. The rolling hills are covered with a patchwork of small farms, olive groves, sunflowers, and lavender fields. Fragrant rosemary, sage, and thyme and other wild herbs grow here in abundance and enliven the local cuisine. Côte d'Azur Also known as the French Riviera, the Côte d'Azur is a glamorous stretch of Mediterranean coastline named for its deep azure blue waters. The skies are often a mesmerizing cerulean hue as well, thanks to the sunny weather most of the year in this area of southern France. Stretching roughly from Saint-Tropez, overlapping with the Provence region, to Monton, less than 30 kilometers from the border with Italy, the Côte d'Azur has been a fashionable seaside resort destination since the early 19th century. Paris Appreciated for its elegance and joie de vivre, Paris is a grand European capital filled with architectural masterpieces like the Eiffel Tower and the Notre Dame Cathedral. Reflecting the city's rich heritage, the Louvre, one of the top museums in Paris, contains an exceptional fine arts collection, while the Musée d'Orsay and the Musée de l'Orangerie display treasures of French Impressionist art. Other charms of Paris are its atmospheric medieval quarters and graceful boulevards. Which one of them you loved the most? Do let us know in comments. Also, if you enjoyed watching the video, please hit a like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.